What's up, everybody? This is Stephen Robles from Apple Insider. You can follow me on Twitter at Stephen Robles. I'd love to hear from you there. And let me know what other tip videos you'd like to see here on Apple Insider's YouTube channel. But today I'm going to show you how you can screen share from Mac to Mac, either just observing or controlling another user's Mac remotely, just using messages on your Mac. You don't need any third-party apps or utilities. You can do it with just the built-in iMessages app on the Mac you already have. Now, before we start, you have to make sure that the iCloud account signed in on both your Mac and the other user's Mac is the same in the System Preferences iCloud account and in Messages. Sometimes someone could be signed in with a different iCloud account in System Preferences and in Messages, so you want to make sure that that iCloud account is the same in order for this to work properly. In Messages, if you have that application open, you can go to Preferences and then go to the Message tab here in System Preferences, and you can see what Apple ID is signed in in the Messages app. Then remember that email address, and you can go to System Preferences by clicking the Apple icon in the top left of the menu bar, open System Preferences, and then click Apple ID here at the top of the System Preferences window. Then you'll see another email address under the name there, and as long as that's the same, in System Preferences and in iMessage, you should be good to go. So the first thing you want to do is be in a conversation with the person you'd like to screen share with. If you haven't texted this person already or started an iMessage conversation, and it does have to be an iMessage conversation, both users have to be using iMessage, it doesn't work over SMS, you can start a new conversation by going to File, New Message, and typing a person's name or phone number there. Or if you're already in a conversation with someone, you can do it right from that window. So from that message conversation, you can do it two different ways, starting the screen share. When you're in the conversation with the person you'd like to screen share with, you can go up to Conversations here in the menu bar, and then you'll see two options, Invite to Share My Screen or Ask to Share Another Person's Screen. If you choose the option that says Invite to Share My Screen, the other user will get a notification, and if they accept, they will immediately see your Mac's screen, but can't control it yet. They could request control, but they're not going to control it right away. In the same way, if you choose Ask to Share Screen, the other user will get a notification saying someone wants to share your screen, and when they accept, you will see their screen immediately. Again, you won't be controlling it immediately, but you can choose that option later. Now again, be sure that you're doing this with someone you trust and you know well. If for some reason you're getting requests like this from people you don't recognize, you'll be able to block those people. Now that other person that I sent the request to, they're viewing my screen right now, but they can't control it. If they go up to the menu bar and select the option to request control, I'll see a notification on my Mac that says, do you want the other user to control your screen? So those steps were if you want another person to view your screen and control your computer. But maybe you want to help a friend or family member and you want to control their Mac so you can walk them through some things. Well, in the same message conversation, I can go up to Conversations and choose Ask to Share Screen. This will send them a notification saying that I want to share their screen. Now, if they accept, they can choose to control or observe. So they can give me just observing power or control. And when they accept it, you'll see now I'm actually looking at their computer. If I wanted to request control, I can do that up here and choose control and it will send them a notification and now I am controlling their Mac remotely. And so again, if you're trying to give someone help, a friend or family member, you can control their Mac remotely after you've said request control and they accept it. Another feature of screen sharing through the Messages app is it actually begins a FaceTime audio call at the same time. So as you begin the screen share session, you'll actually be able to hear each other, both you if you're controlling or reviewing and the other person, you can hear each other talk through the microphones on your Mac. Now if you are already on another phone call, you can disable this by clicking the screen share icon in the menu bar and disabling your microphone. So a couple other places you can go to activate that screen sharing feature. You can hit the little I icon in the top right corner of a conversation and then choose the share option right there on the contact window. And you can also tap next to a name with a little down arrow and you also have the screen share options there. Finally, when you're ready to end a screen sharing session, 
click the screen share icon in the menu bar and you can see the option for ending the screen share session right there. Remember to only share your screen or request control from someone you trust and that they would trust you. And be careful when you're going from control and observe mode, making sure you're doing the right command that you intended to. But this is a great way to offer some technical help to friends or family members. They don't have to download any application. They could just do the iMessages and they could just accept the notification after you send the invite command or the ask to share screen command. So we hope that helped you out. Let us know what you thought. Leave a comment down below underneath the video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the Apple Insider YouTube channel. Hit that bell icon and choose to get all the notifications so you never miss a video right here from Apple Insider. Don't forget to check out our podcast. The Apple Insider podcast comes out every Friday. The HomeKit Insider podcast where we talk about smart home and HomeKit devices comes out every Monday. And we have Apple Insider Daily, the top Apple news headlines in just a few minutes. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.